I'm Nivet from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Agni College of Technology. I, along with my two friends, Mr. Samraj M and Mr. Prabodh S, have developed a project titled Automatic Spray Painting Robot as our final year project. In this video, we'll explain about the construction and working principle of our project, Automatic Spray Painting Robot. Frame stand. Frame stand consists of mild steel welded in such a way that it can carry the whole equipment. The steels are welded strongly in manufacturing le technology laboratory and can carry the weight of the entire robot with the control unit, battery and DC motor in the mobile platform and the spray gun and bracket in the chain roller. The four wheels are attached to the frame stand in order to move the robot in the direction specified. The movement of the wheels is actuated by a wiper motor which is in turn controlled by the microcontroller based control unit. Wiper motors. We are using two 12 volt DZ wiper motors which are mounted in two different positions on the frame. One is for the vertical movement of the spray gun along the sprocket and gear assembly. And the other one is for the horizontal movement of the total setup. These motors are controlled by the microcontroller based control unit. Control unit. Our control unit consists of a PIC microcontroller which is programmed using C compiler. It has an LCD display which displays the status of the robot. Relays which controls the movement of the wiper motors are also present. We have attached an IO sensor which terminates the working of the entire system if an obstacle is detected. This helps to stop the robot when an adjacent wall is in the proximity. Battery. We are using two batteries in which one is a 12 volt 1.3 amps battery and the other one is 12 volt 7.5 amps battery. The 12 volt 1.3 amps battery is used to power the control unit. The other one that is 12 volts 7.5 amps battery is used to power the wiper motors which are present in the system. Spray gun. The spray gun mechanism consists of a paint zoom spray gun nozzle along with the container and a blower unit. The blower unit consists of a 650 watt industrial motor which supplies pressurized air to the spray gun nozzle so that the paint filled inside the container mounted underneath the nozzle is sprayed with a force. The spray gun nozzle and the container is mounted on the chain sprocket mechanism using a bracket and a U-clamp so that smooth vertical movement is possible. In this prototype, the movement of robot is constrained to X direction only. If we can increase the degree of freedom of the robot by introducing a movement in Y direction, by adding an extra motor, the robot can make turning movements. This is done so that the robot can paint the corner walls automatically. The range and precision of painting can be further increased or refined by an advanced control unit. 